We're ready for action in Gaza. When we have action, we have to have this. Thank you so much. You are loving this. Amazing, amazing stuff. Keep it coming. Thank you so much as we're defending the fenceless here in Gaza. What a devastating weekend as 14 soldiers lost their lives in the sands of Gaza and heavy fighting continues in the south over towards Rafah and even in central Gaza. A total of 153 IDF heroes have uh, been killed, lost their lives since the beginning of the ground operation in Gaza. And uh, But yes, at the same time, supplies, suppl trucks and trucks and truckloads of trucks are, are of humanitarian aid are going in. We're afraid Hamas is going to try to take it. They do try to take it. Uh, as you know, we've been able to um, take 30,000 explosive weapons from the Hamas since the beginning of the war. And at the same time that all this is happening in the south, Hezbollah is withdrawing their super force, their Rodwan force, from the Israeli border as they see we're poised to shut down the terror also in the north of Israel. Egypt is trying to broker a 14-day ceasefire in Gaza. Um, with the Hamas agreeing to release 40 hostages. We're hoping that those hostages are alive and in good condition. Um, and so it's, it's continuing, and as the week progresses, and as the year wraps up, we are saying we are, are all, our spirits are high, and we are excited to finish this. And as this war continues, and the painstaking work of finding these tunnels, mapping these tunnels, destroying these tunnels, it continues. And I just think of what led to this, to these tunnels being constructed. It took many, many, many years. Even when 2005, when all Jewish people were kicked out of Gaza, and Gaza was completely freed of any Jewish person. At that time, that was almost 20 years ago, and those young kids are now the terrorists that we're facing. So something has to change. A choice has to be made. Uh, in First Kings uh, chapter 18, verse 21, Elijah makes a choice to all the people, and he says, how long will you sway? Will you halt between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if it's Baal, then follow him. And the people answered not a word. Throughout the world and every country, people are going to have to make a choice. Just like Joshua on Mount Ebal, next to Mount Gerizim in Judea and Samaria, where the historic covenant was pronounced. Joshua 24 verse 15, if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you're living, but it's for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. This is the choice that must be made for the future, for peace to exist, to serve the God of peace. We take a moment of silence to remember these heroes that have fallen. We want to say thank you to Aliyah Return Center donation for this hamlet. It's going to help us a lot to win this war, to be better soldiers. We want to say really thank you. Amis Ahai, we will win. Thank you very much. We are strong. We are safe. We are okay. We have full of energies, of spirit. And you know what? It's mostly because of you, our brothers and sisters around the world. It's, it's really hard to describe the feeling, but we truly feel your prayers deep inside our hearts. So keep praying for us. Keep saying good vibes, good thoughts. Machshavot tovot. We love you all here. The unit of the paratroopers. The paratroopers. We are so thankful for everything you do for us. We will win. We will win because, because we are a unit. Because we are one soul, one family. And I'm excited.